Okay, hang on. All right, welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. Uh, we had a customer who has um, a key, uh, like this type of key, which is a fancy type of key, and um, her one was much like this, which is a dimple type of key, and she couldn't get more keys cut. So my suggestion to her was just to simply replace the cylinder. Now, she had a lock like this, which uses a fixed cam cylinder. There's two types of cylinder in this, in this shape right here. This one right here is a fixed cam, and often on a lock where you've got a trigger like this and a dead bolt down the bottom, it's a fixed cam. Screen doors take a floating cam, which has a moving cylinder with this middle part here. So I had a look at her photo and I could quite easily tell that she's got a fixed cam type cylinder. And to solve her problem, if she changes to a standard key, she's not going to have any troubles. We sell these cylinders on our lock shop, so you can simply purchase this. We'll send you out a new cylinder. And my daughter, who's 10, is going to help us remove this cylinder. So to start with, when you look at the cylinder, it has a little hole right about here. And if you were to put this cylinder about here, you would notice on the side of your lock, you've actually got a screw there. So we're going to need to remove that screw. That, that's your job. Remove that screw. Uh, this one? Yep, that one. That one there, which is in line with the cylinder. Yep. Yeah. No, no, keep, keep, uh, oh, okay. okay. We'll put it there and then turn the big bit. Turn the bit. Other way, other way. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. Now that is a big long screw and it's going to take some time to, to unwind it all the way. But keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Now we have a brand new cylinder right here and this is what we're going to be installing and the purpose of this is to change the key of the lock. Now with these type of cylinders I mentioned about... Oops. Oh my god. It's alright. I mentioned about floating cam and fixed cam. This is a fixed cam where we move it and the cam does not move. So we're going to be installing this in this lock here so that that way the key is different. Okay. Yeah, keep going. Okay, that should be enough now. So what we'll do is we'll just try it. Don't know what that beeping is. Now we need to remove this one here. Can you... Okay, so the screwdriver down. To, rem to remove this, because it's got this fixed part here, what we need to do is we need to turn the key a little bit this direction, just turn it a little bit, and then just pull it. And if it doesn't pull, we can simply just push it from one side until it comes all the way out. Just keep rotating that key and pulling until the whole cylinder comes out in one piece. Now, when we've got our key out, we notice that this is an obstruction. Don't know who's beeping. Then we get our key in our new That's cylinder. A fire alarm. Is it? Could yeah, be. It we we rotate it. We rotate it until it's in there. We slide it back in. Are you ready with that um, with that screw? Oh yeah. Now we make sure we push it all the way through. You might need to loosen your handles on either side to do this if your cylinder doesn't slide all the way through. And you slide your cylinder into the middle, and you try your key. If it's not Correct, keeps pushing until you've got it to the point where the bolt is, pro is projecting like that and you turn it the other way and it does this. Okay, now, so now you can put the screw back in. So hang on a second, that went in on an angle. What we need to do is make sure the screw's going in nice and straight, slightly turn it with our fingers and then just tighten it up. So this is just a very basic demonstration on how to change a fixed cam cylinder. Uh, the screwdriver is a ratchet screwdriver, so we'll turn that in the right direction. Now you can go that direction. So it doesn't take a lot of work to actually do it. You do need a key to remove it. You can buy the cylinders from us on our lock shop. Okay, that's not going in, so we'll just uh, put the key in, turn it a little bit, make sure that uh, the screw is digging into the cylinder. If not, we might need to push the cylinder backwards, forwards, till we find that it's lining up with this hole right here. And sometimes there is different threads on the screw as well. So you might have a metric or an imperial one. 
and you need to match them. I'll just quickly tighten that one up. I'll see if I can tighten it and see why, why it's not tightening. Oh, it is tightening. How come I can do it so much quicker than you? Because I never done it. Okay, so, that, like so that's it. in. Okay, so if we turn it this way, the bolt projects. It projects twice on this type of lock, most of the time. And let's turn it back. Now the lock is unlocked, you can use your handle. With this type of lock, if you turn it one more time, it'll move this one back. And there we have it. We've changed the lock to a new key, and you can purchase this key from our lock shop if it was handy. Um, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.